So, how many of you enjoyed grammar when you were growing up? Raise your hand. I did. I enjoyed grammar. Just like some people enjoy math or science or history. Grammar was my subject. And uh, vocabulary and reading. I am a closet grammar snob. Uh, which means that I won't usually correct people if they make spelling mistakes unless they ask me to like if I'm doing a proofreading job I usually won't especially if it's in a text or an email or a message board comment I I don't like to correct people because you know maybe sometimes people are in a hurry and they just forgot to go back and check and you can usually understand what the person is trying to say just by the gist of the comment that they've made, right? Even if, with all the acronyms we have nowadays, you can figure out what people are saying. You can probably guess what most of the acronyms mean, even. But some people just love to pounce on that and say, you know, you really should have spelled it this way, and you really used the wrong word for that. I don't do that. I just take note of it because that's just what I do. I like grammar. I keep a hard copy Webster's Dictionary on my desk even. Yes, I know there is an app, for, an app for it, but I just like having the hard copy. And it's a good thing I like grammar because part of my job is checking documents that go out to customers. We have a lot of customers and a lot of really big, uh, well-known uh, names in the, in, in the airline industry. And it doesn't look very professional, I think, if you send them a drawing or a text back or a document, work instruction, or even to the FAA, if you send them stuff that is, you know, has a lot of misspellings and it's just sloppy. You gotta check that stuff, even if you have spell checker, which most people have, because you never know, it might have used the wrong word. There's a difference between then and then, there, there, and there. Two, two, and two, uh, and then a lot of people uh, confuse the singular with the plural. I see a lot of books that say women instead of when they should have said woman, singular. And uh, it really bugs me when I read a really good book and there are a lot of misspellings on it because I just don't think it looks, it, it kind of takes away from the storyline. And uh, uh, even if, if it's a book that is a technical book or a health health book about a, you know maybe it's about cancer or diabetes or something like that, I think it kind of takes away from the credibility of the publisher or the author and or the author if they don't go back and have a proofreader check everything, don't you? So. Uh, I was I was kind of hoping my Kaylee Seven would chime in on this, or even Spacebot, because I know both of them are into English and grammar and that kind of thing. I really like playing Scrabble. I'm not into the Xbox games. I'm into the very simple and straightforward Scrabble game and Words with Friends, which I play a lot. I don't know. I just I've always liked words like that. The one thing that uh, you really need to check carefully is your resume. And for those who don't know what that means from other countries, if you if you don't know what that means, it's similar to your CV. The document that lists all your work history and experience. You need to check it and then go back and look at it again and then give it to somebody else to check it over. Because you can't just rely on spell checker because you've all had those moments when uh, you're texting somebody or emailing somebody and it suggests a word and you're typing it so fast that you don't even realize that it changed it to something else and maybe you didn't want that and a lot of people don't have the time or want to go back and double check a text message don't stop right there. Every time I come through this little area, uh, somebody pulls out in front of me because it's lined with cars and when they pull out of a driveway, you can't really see around it. So they just go whether they can see or not. 
What is up with that? Ow. So closet grammar snob, yes, that is something that I do and I really enjoy. I should I should write a book actually, or I should have been an English teacher like my Kaylee.